what we've got going on here is the uh, helper brother out technique. Just want nice and relaxed people working with these worried types. And uh, hopefully we're going to have them walk, uh, trotting and cantering by the end of this. Jump on. You nervous? Yeah, just hold him. Turn him away from me. Away from me. Yeah, now just get him going around in a circle. Away from me. It's alright. Good. Away from me. Circling away from me. Now these worry types, what's, what generally would happen with them they freak out and they're gonna you gotta watch out if you're the person on the ground because they're just trying to run to you for comfort and uh, you're nine times out of ten you're most likely to get bowled over and he's about a 16 and a half hand horse he's quite big and until you've been run over a few times you try and make sure you never get run over again click him on how's he feel under his saddle he's still a bit, a bit tense Put both reins in your one hand there. Then now you got them and just make sure once you start something with the horse, you have to always carry through. Do it again, just rub them all over. Now he's really accepting it. Good stuff. Right over his ass everywhere, lean back a little. Sometimes that pressure on their kidneys can give them a bit of a fright as well. You're gonna have to use the outside rein to keep them turning away from me. Yeah, that's it. Good. You feel the difference of just slowly getting him right? Yeah, you know, you know, he's more, 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 more relaxed. Yeah. He's still not 100%. His ears are pricked back, his eyes are rolling around. And he will get there. Good stuff. Alright, I have to say someone on the ground and someone on the back with a lunge line is by far the fastest, safest and easiest way to get a horse going. What we're going to go for now is this horse's uh, first trot. So you just squeeze him up lightly and I'll just... Good stuff. And that's Ace's first trot under saddle. Keep patting him. The more you pat and rub the horse down, the more confident he's going to become. Worst thing you can ever do with a horse when you're starting them is trying to get them going forward too fast. You're going to be riding them for the rest of their lives, so if it takes two or three weeks to get on their back and ride them around, so be it. In the long run, it works out ten times better for you. You can see that half the battle's won with just Felix's disposition. Nice, calm, relaxed sort of fella. That's what you want. Hasn't rode a terrible amount of horses, but he's got the right attitude. He's got the right way, and that's all you need with horses. Experience doesn't really matter bugger all if you've got the right way and the nice calm nature. And then slow him down to a stop. And there we have it. Ace's first trot under saddle. Right, we're going to go for this horse's first canter, which should be a bit of fun. So Felix is going to take him out and about. I'm going to go on the end of this line here.
So what I'm about to do now, now that we've got his uh, trot and the canter, quite happy he's not going to do anything wrong. We're going to take the lead off and I'm going to be on the ground motivating the horse to go forward and Felix will be giving him the lead commands to push him forward and he'll be nice and light on his mouth and uh, get this horse just going forward with confidence. Give him a pat. Give him a pat. Good stuff. It's all just about confidence. Push him forward, push him. What you're going to do is you're going to stop over there. Just slow him down and to a stop. Well done. Give him heaps of pats. Rub him down. So the main reason why we stopped him over there is because that's where he found it easiest to go forward. If you stop them over where you uh, they come in and out of stuff, you have a hell of a lot of trouble with them just stopping whenever they want. You have to be the one that chooses when and where to stop them. Ace's first canter without me on the lunge line. He's starting to look happy now as he is almost going forward. Just let him keep him going. Just let him go. Hold him, hold him. Hold him, hold him. Hold him, keep going. Now we're going to get him up. I'm going to push him past this spot. What we're going to do now with Ace is put him under a bit more pressure. It was no good. He put a little uh, bit of a buck in there. So we're just going to put him under a bit of pressure, just controlled pressure you could say it, and then make sure he doesn't do that again because that's one habit we never want him to get into.